Alright, what's up Amayan and in this video I am going to show you how you can update your pre-installed Magisk as well as Magisk app. For this all you have to do is go to the Magisk app right here and open it up. As you can see right from here it is giving you an option to update. This is the app update while you update the app and after the app is updated you will get the option to update Magisk as well. So when you click on update it gives you a change log of features. These are the features that are updated, new or changed. You can read that. If you want the full change log, all you have to do is click on the here button right there and it will open up the link to the GitHub page of Magisk. This is the change log of all the versions of Magisk. As you can see the version 30 or above are the beta versions which I will show you that you can access them by going to settings and change the update channel from stable to beta. You can even add custom channel but I don't know how that works. Mostly I recommend going with the stable one because beta, beta version might have some problems. So after you are done that, if you are not getting this option all you have to do is connect to the internet, close the app and reopen the app. This will give you the option to update your Magisk app. If you have selected stable version like I did, you will get the version 29. If you have selected the beta version, you will get the version 30. So I am going with the 29 stable version and once you have done click on update it will automatically download the Magisk latest app. All you have to do is wait for the download to complete and then it will give you the option to install. I actually have activated caffeine so I want to prevent my phone from accidentally going into sleep and might pause my recording this is going to take a little bit of time if you are wondering why this download is slow it is because of github not my internet connection my internet connection is pretty fast okay so looks like the download is now complete and now you can see we are giving the option to install an update to an existing app all you have to do is click on the update on install button and if you are not getting the option of installation you can go to your devices downloads folder and here you will see an apk of magisk okay i don't know if it is installing or not so i'm just gonna close the app and remove it from the recent apps as well wait for just a few seconds and then open the magisk app This is taking some time which means the app is now updated to the latest version which is 29.0 and after you have updated the app you will given, be given the option to update Magisk as well. All you have to do is click on update and hit next. If you are installing Magisk for the first time you have to go with select and patch a file but as you know we already have Magisk installed as you can see right from here. We can just hit on update next and direct install will be the way to go now let's hit on let's go this will start flashing the installation file updating the already installed disk and now i'm just gonna reboot my device behind the button in the La here we go i have now updated magisk as well as the app as you can see it is now on the latest version so this is how you can update your pre-installed Magisk app to access the latest feature. If you want to use the beta version for testing or something, you can go change the update channel. Let's check on some GitHub page of Magisk. You will see there are in the releases folder, Magisk version 29 is the latest version while the 30 or 30 plus are beta versions as well as pre release software. Anyway, that's been it. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.